Hey everyone, today we will continue Ginger Wallflowers, the song Pearls and Swine. Never heard this before. Um, yeah, after the last one was a bit more, how should you say, accessible in my opinion. My guess was that this will be, yeah, a bit more on the progressive side again, but I don't know. Let's see if I'm correct. <laughs> Interesting start. Okay, I already wanted to stop and say like this again has a bit more of a usual song progression, but uh, yeah, I think I spoke or thought too soon. Um, yeah, now it's going into like some interesting territory. I mean, in the beginning they still had a lot of like contrast between these really heavy chucks, like da -da -da -dun -dun, da -da -da -dun. it really feels very brutal also her voice as well um yeah and then more of a like not really a th i don't think that they are open chords but it has a mod yeah a lot more of a open feel to it in this lighter part when she sings in clean voice yeah but like i said now this is uh, starting to get really interesting i will rewind a bit interesting that the bass and the guitar like sometimes they almost play exactly the same thing you came to Yep. 
Like I said, uh, absolutely not a standard song progression. I mean, this, yeah, it's like, again, so many different parts. I mean, it feels less, a lot less accessible than Copycat, for example, at least to my ears at a first listen. Yeah, but still so much, so many different parts. Yeah, it never gets like, yeah never even gets close to repetitive. Now into a completely new, different vibe. Very open, very atmospheric. and even more with this contrast to the heaviness that came before. These nice harmonies again. This I really like. seems to be a theme going through this whole album that these songs yeah, they all feel like they are going through so many different stages and evolving along the way um I mean, probably if i had to choose a least favorite so far i'm guessing it would be this song but not because it's bad or anything. Um, it's actually a fantastic song. I really want to listen to it again. But yeah, like felt the least accessible to me. I um, can't really tell you why. Because yeah, some of the other songs, they went through a crazy developments too. But yeah. I mean, this last part I actually enjoyed the most, but yeah, still, I don't want to talk, actually, I don't want to talk negative about this because this is really, still really fantastic and such a, yeah, unique way of, yeah, creating a song and also the sound itself. It's just such a nice contrast or or combination, however you, yeah, you don't really know um, with Ginger, but this heaviness and then, yeah, the beauty they have in their music as well. Yeah, I mean, fits right into this album and yeah, I mean, that's a whole another thing. Um, I'm usually an, a like an album person I want to listen to a whole album in one sitting like without a pause and in that context that song probably makes 
a lot of sense and might yeah feel right in place so but we will continue with the next song sleep of the righteous thanks for watching see you in the next one bye